There will definitely be more powers accruing to Scotland. Give me two powers that will definitely accrue. Both tax and increased power over Which housing tax? benefit over income tax. All of it? Income tax, the power to... All power of it? To, to, power to, there's two things happening. There is power already coming where you've got power on income tax and on top of that they will have additional power uh, to, to vary the rate of income tax. So yes, there are substantial powers, responsibility over nearly 40% of what the Scottish Government spends. Any eight-year-old can tell you the flag of the country, the capital of a country and its currency. Now, I presume the flag's the salt tower. I assume our capital will still be Edinburgh. But you can't tell us what currency we'll have. What's well, an eight-year-old going to make of that? Alistair. We'll keep the pound because it belongs to Scotland as much as it belongs to England. It's our pound as well as your pound. Now, in just six weeks' time, we will make the biggest single decision that most of us ever made in our lifetime. And it's important that we get it right because if we vote to leave, there is no going back. I am optimistic about Scotland's future within the United Kingdom. We can have the best of both worlds with a strong Scottish Parliament, with control over health and education, and at the same time we can enjoy the advantages that come from having no new boundaries, no new borders. No one will ever govern Scotland better than the people who live and work in Scotland. We'll always make the best decisions about Scotland's future. So voting yes is a vote for ambition over fear. It tells the world that Scotland is an equal nation which carries itself with confidence and belief. This is our moment. Let's take it.